So we've recently learned about agents on this channel in the LLM agents video. And that video is part of the LLM concepts playlist on this channel. And now in today's video, we're going to build a project that uses those LLM agents. In today's project, we are using a multi-agent workflow to perform a task. So for the agent framework, we will use Crew AI, which is a very popular open source agent framework. And for the LLMs, we will use OpenAI to power these agents because we need the agents to have an intelligent brain. And along with this, in order to enable our agents to perform tasks related to searching the internet, we will use ExaSearch. In the project, we're going to use LLM agents to collaborate and prepare for an upcoming meeting, which is an interesting use case. Imagine the next time you have to prepare for an upcoming meeting with a client, you don't have to do it alone anymore. You'll have a crew of highly intelligent LLM agents. So I'll be taking you through the Google Colab file where this project has been built, and I'll leave the link to the file in the description of this video so that you can copy it for your own use as well. Let's start by quickly going over our planning diagram. So we will use Crew AI to create multiple different type of agents that specialize in different narrow tasks. And these agents will help us prepare for a meeting by collaborating with each other. Crew AI has three main features that we will be using today. Agent, which helps us define the agent. Task, which helps us define exact tasks for each agent. And Crew, where we initialize all the agents as part of a crew. Think of this as introducing the agents to each other and making them aware that they have to work towards a common goal. Now in today's video, our agents will be powered by OpenAI, but I'll be showing you more options to replace OpenAI with other LLM options in the near future in separate videos. And even with agent frameworks, we will use more options like Autogen in the future. But since this is our first project, Crew AI and OpenAI is literally the easiest combination to get started with. All right, so our first agent will be a research specialist agent whose job is to research all the individuals who will be joining the meeting. Second agent is an industry analyst agent whose job is to analyze the current industry trends ahead of the meeting. Third one is the meeting strategy advisor who's going to develop strategic discussion points and questions around the topics of the meeting. The fourth agent is the briefing coordinator who's going to compile all the research findings, industry analysis, and strategic discussion points created by all the other three agents earlier and creates a concise briefing document for the meeting. Our agents will use Excel search tools to complete their tasks. Since our plan is clear, let's actually go through the code. We start by importing libraries like Crew AI, Langchain Exa, ExaPy, and the decouple library that will help us with configuration management and managing environment variables. Then we just check out our Crew AI installation. We get the version in the output. And in this case, it's 0.22.5. Then we set up our OpenAI and Exa API keys using the OS package. From the ExaPy library we had imported in the beginning, we import Exa. And from Langchain agents, we import tool to help us set up Exa search tools. These tools will be required by our agents to perform their tasks around the meeting preparation. Our first tool is search, and it enables us to search for a web page based on a query. Our second tool is a find similar tool that searches for web pages similar to a given URL. The third tool is the most important. It helps us fetch the content from a web page. Since the earlier two tools will help us find web pages and similar pages, we can use this third tool to extract content from these web pages. The last tool also has some logic to print the content, to split values from the content, and also join the content that will be helpful for us. Then we define the tools and run the three tools we just created above. The exa function helps us access exa using the API key we had defined above. Now we import ddent from text wrap. That's going to help us remove trailing white spaces in multi-line text. And since we will be giving multi-line inputs to our agents to guide their behavior, we really need this. Then from Crew AI, we import agent. Now we create our agents one by one. For our research specialist agent, we define the role and goal, which is to conduct thorough research on companies and people involved in the meeting. And we pass all the three search tools created to the agent to equip it with the ability to perform search tasks. Then we give it a backstory, which is basically what guides its behavior. And we say, your mission is to uncover detailed information about the individuals and entities participating in the meetings. For our industry analyst agent, we give it a goal to analyze current industry trends. And we give it a backstory. Your analysis will identify key trends and challenges facing the industry. Then we have our meeting strategy agent whose goal is to develop talking points, questions, and strategic angles for the meeting. And the backstory is your expertise will guide the development of talking points, insightful questions, and strategic angles. Finally, we have our briefing coordinator with the goal of compiling all of the gathered info and has a backstory. Your role is to consolidate the research, analysis, and strategic insights. 
You'll notice that we've been passing our tools to all of our agents and the backstory has been passed with DDENT to remove trailing white spaces. And in the next section, we import tasks from QA and define detailed tasks for each of the agents. And we define detailed description along with expected outcome, the participants and the context. And we do this for all our four agents. In this next section, we import crew from QA and we initialize our meeting preparation tasks class and our meeting preparation agents class. And we define the participants, context, and objective. And this makes things really easy for us because you will be able to access any of our agents through the agents variable and any of our tasks through the tasks variable. You will notice here in the output that we're asking for the emails of the participants in the meeting and we enter Jay-Z's email ID. The context of the meeting is to create a Beats alternative and the objective of the meeting is to convince Jay-Z to partner with us. In the next section, we create or initiate each of our agents, the research agent, the industry analysis agent, meeting strategy agent, and the briefing agent. Then we initialize all the tasks, the research task, industry analysis task, meeting strategy task, and the briefing task. If you notice in each of these functions to initiate the various tasks, we're passing the agent, participants, and the context. Now we know that for our meeting strategy, we need the research and also the industry analysis because we want to discuss industry updates in the meeting. And this is why you notice we are passing the industry analysis output in the meeting context. And in the summary and briefing context, we are passing all three things, research, industry analysis, and the output from the meeting strategy task. Next, we use the crew function to load up all of our agents along with their tasks. And in the next cell, we kick off the crew and capture the output in the result variable and finally print the result. Now the output of this entire program is quite detailed because obviously we're doing multiple things, right? From researching the participants to industry analysis to meeting strategy. So let's go over it quickly. What you want to see in the output is this, entering new crew agent executor chain. This usually means everything went well, crew AI has been recognized and a new executor chain is starting that contains all the agents. We start off by finding details about Jay-Z since he's a participant in our meeting and we've given research tools to our research agents. So it's able to find multiple links about Jay-Z and it gives an output. Here is an article about Jay-Z's professional background and recent news. Then our industry analysis agent gets to work and after a few links, we see in the output, here's a market report on the music streaming industry in 2022. What I really like here is that crew AI agents have a bit of autonomy. You see a small interaction here between the different agents here, where one of the agents mentions that it faced an issue while using the search tool. And then you see crew AI started a new crew agent executor chain for us. So at no point the user has to step in if something breaks or is interrupted or there's a confusion between the agents. They're able to resolve basic issues on their own. Then we find more articles about the music industry and after a short while we see another output which says, here's an interesting report on the challenges and opportunities in the music streaming industry for 2022. Then you can see we fetched contents from the web page and some more links and content later, one of our agents runs into another issue and informs us, I'm sorry, but due to a technical issue, I'm currently unable to retrieve the contents of the articles. The best thing here is that all this while, the agents have clear context about what's happening and they're able to come back to the tasks they were originally working on. And that's what's so powerful about agents. So here what happened is that the briefing coordinator is not able to access the details from the previous steps. So again, a new executor agent chain starts. Now I want to point out the huge difference between writing a traditional software where you would have had to handle all these conditions and had to write code to enable retries. Whereas here the agents take care of all that for you. So LLMs and agents really provide us a huge step up to how we work with software. And similarly, many such iterations take place. And finally, we're able to get the result towards the end. And Crew AI says, here is the result. And you can see a nice briefing document created and that's all we needed. In the final cell, we just formatted it to Markdown and we're done. Awesome. This was a fun, fun project and we've really seen a new way of doing things. Now, I quickly want to tell you about my six AI projects with Go course, where we build real world production level application and it has some killer reviews. If you're looking to upscale in 2024, because it's all going to be about AI from now, then this is what you need to enroll in. Finally, a quick word about our sponsors, which is you. Yes, you're the sponsor of this video. This channel is running on your support. So please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with as many friends as possible because this type of content takes a great deal of research. And because this channel is small and the content is super niche, it doesn't get served that well. So my channel really runs on word of mouth. Hope you enjoyed this video. I highly encourage you to build out a couple of projects on your own using the same setup. And you can even submit this project in a hackathon. And also building is the best way to learn. Hope you know about the official Discord community of this channel, the link for which is in my profile. I would be very happy seeing you there because we discuss tech and we also hang out. All right, I'll see you in the next video.